ready for a summer of celebrity. Celebrity Big Brother kicks off right now. 15 celebs are coming to our brand new house for the greatest reality show on earth. This is Celebrity Big Brother. waiting to burst out of those doors straight into your lives. And that's where they're hoping to stay for the next few weeks, if they survive Big Brother and, of course, each other. Uh, now, there's been a huge amount of speculation in the press about who's going to be spending their summer in the Big Brother house. Some of that gossip has been bang on. Yes. Some of it has been way off the mark. Uh, and it's all been building up to tonight when we will reveal our glorious lineup. It's very, very good. Um, also this year, we're doing something a little bit special. Who said celebrities are selfish, eh? Because this time, the winner will walk away with a whopping 50,000 pounds, which will not go in their pocket, but straight to the charity of their choice. Yes, 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 yes. So this year, the competition is on from the very beginning. And it just so happens that the game starts with a secret mission. For our first celebrity housemate as soon as he walks through the door. Are you ready for some celeb on celeb action? Shall we get on with it? Yes! First out the gate, a man who spent the last 13 years of his life being buried. Hello, I'm Barry from EastEnders, and I... No, I'm not. That was 13 years ago. Let it go, Sean. Hello, I'm Sean Williamson. I still get what I call buried in the street. Barry! <sighs> One day at EastEnders, the producer came up to me and he said, Sean, thank you, it's been a great 10 years, but this Christmas we need a death. It's your turn happens. I can sing. I like to think that's the thing that I do best. <laughs> That'll have to do for the moment. <clears throat> so I'm an incredibly boring person in that I'm a quiz addict. Celebrity Mastermind went on it, won it. Eggheads went on it, won it. Celebrity Big Brother, bring it on. I like to think I'll be a good housemate. Don't really want to sit around with a load of other 50 odd year olds talking bollocks really. Just give me two days without sleep, and then watch me. I'm not scared to tell people what I think of them. If I let fly at someone, trust me, they'll have earned it. Best thing about me is I'm Barry from EastEnders. It's Sean Williamson. Yes! Yes! 
It's going to be a finally, finally. I know. Do you know how many years he's been coming on Boss? And I'm like, come on, Sean, I've been what are you going to do? About 12 times I've been on there now, about 12 times. So what finally made you give in? Because I've spent so many, so many times on Boss, about 12 times, uh, 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 giving my opinion about other people and how they're getting, and I thought I'd come and give it a go myself, yeah? yeah. And you had a phenomenal reception. They're lovely, they're very good. I've paid them all, that's what it is. <laughs> Checks in the post, don't worry, keep it up. And I'm sure you probably heard it, but already it was Barry, Barry. Oh, no. it's, gonna, it's gonna be on my gravestone. <laughs> You've obviously lived with that for a very long time. It's on my passport, it's on my passport. <laughs> So we all know Barry from EastEnders. Are we going to get to know Sean Williamson in the house? If I'm deprived of too much sleep, yeah. No, what, no, no, what, be... what happens when you don't get sleep? Get a bit grumpy. No, I'll be all right. I'm going to be fun. I'm going to uh, attack everything with energy. Uh, I'm going to treat everybody as I would wish to be treated. And if I don't get it back, then we'll take it from there. We like a bit of grump as well, though, don't we? A bit of grump. How about, how about a bit of singing? A bit of singing, yeah. It cost you a fortune in PRS. I'll be singing all the time in it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Are you ready to go in? I'm ready. Off you go! Sean has a tattoo of a tiger on his bicep. As a teenager, Sean used to deliver telegrams on a moped. He was formerly in the Navy, and he once made the news at 10 after being lost up a mountain. Right. Here we jolly well go. Wow. This, this is very nice, big brother. This is very... This is so, uh... This is so this new. This is big brother. Would Sean come to the diary room? Certainly. That was quick. Hello, Sean. Hello. Sean, are you feeling a bit nervous? I am a bit nervous, but, you know, it's like anything. I'll, uh, don't worry, P performance mobile kicking. It's all going to be great. Well, Sean, you should be nervous because Big Brother has a very special secret mission just for you. <laughs> right. And to succeed, you must draw on your years of acting experience to transform into the most nervous housemate in the history of Big Brother. OK. As each of your fellow celebrity housemates enter the Big Brother house, it must be instantly noticeable that you are suffering from a severe case of first night nerves. Okay. In fact, the more housemates that enter, the more your nerves should escalate. Okay. As well as showcasing your inner angst at all times, Big Brother is also going to give you a series of nerve wracking challenges throughout the evening. <laughs> love it, I love it. As if right. nerves weren't bad enough, you'll be hearing voices in your head as Big Brother will be talking to you secretly through an earpiece. Okay. Sean, if you are successful in your mission, then you will win a very special reward. However, if you fail, you will face a punishment that will make your first night nerves look like a casual stroll in Albert Square. I understand, thank you. I'm willing to accept the task. Good luck, Sean. It's time to let your nerves get the better of you. I'll need it. It shouldn't be too difficult. Thank you. So Bailey is our first celebrity set foot in the house and Big Brother's playing with his mind already. Uh, we have got our first male celeb, but there's girls allowed in the house too. You know. My name is Sarah Harding and I'm best known for being in Girls Allowed. When it comes to highlights in our career, we've had so many. We had 21 top 10 hits, four number ones, broke four world records, and the Brit. I mean, what more can a girl ask for? The press and I have a very love-hate relationship. Yeah, we love to hate each other. But I'm not necessarily as wild a child as everyone keeps portraying me as. I'm just one of the lads. <laughs> I just like to have fun. You only get one life, make the most. I am not going in that house looking for love, trust me. I just hope there's some people in there that I can have a real giggle with. I can be quite emotional and I don't like confrontation, but you know, I will stand up for myself if I have to. It's gonna be a roller coaster, I can feel it. I think most things in life are, but you just gotta learn to ride it, baby. It's Sarah Harding.
nervous? Oh, my goodness. I just didn't expect what, this. <laughs> what, what did you expect? I have no idea, but all I can honestly say is it's about time that the public got to know the real Sarah. Oh! Well, a lovely reception as well. Thank you. Thank you. What's it like standing behind those doors? Oh, my goodness. I, um, I can't swear on... Um, can I? No. <laughs> not, not yet. Let's ease you in gently. Let's ease you in yeah, gently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just, I'm just uh, bricking it. <laughs> oh, no, don't no, be bricking it. Be You're one of the biggest to... girl bands in the country. <laughs> I just never thought I would do this, but they you know people write so much, you know what? So I just thought it's about time. Go in there and put that. it straight. Yeah, I'm not here to set the records straight about anything, but I just want people to see who I, where I come from. And at the end of the day, I came from reality TV, yeah. so why not go back and start over? Um, one thing I do have to ask you about is we've just seen you say that you don't like confrontation. No. Sarah! <laughs> I'm do you sorry. know this house or what? Yes, I do, but I've been in a girl van and I don't like it. <laughs> um, it's not just... <laughs> I don't really like that. Well, I think you're probably going to get a little bit of it. Yeah, possibly. But you just be you and be your lovely self and I'm <laughs> sure you'll be fine. Thank you. um, you're also one of the lads. I am definitely. I think this is what people don't get about me. I am totally a tomboy and I'm a adrenaline junkie. And I do have more lads than, than girlfriends, but all my girls' friends that are in there, if they're anything like me, then we ain't got a problem. <laughs> so you're one of the girls as well? I'm also one of the girls. I'm just a bit of a tomboy. Right. Yeah. Are you ready? No. <laughs> it's time. Go on, Sarah. Look, they're telling you. Go on, Sarah. In you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Sarah has packed 17 pairs of sunglasses. She used to work as a pizza delivery woman. She likes to sit down in the shower. Her worst habit is putting her tour meals in the living room. Do you know, you, you, know, you do right, these love. things and, and you think you can handle anything, do you know what I mean? <laughs> this is so surreal. I know. But I'm just, I don't know. Anyway, I, I'm Let's trying... Let's have some water. Shall we? <laughs> oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> do you want me to Don't, pour? please. Honestly. Oh, let me do How it. are you? You look great. I'm all right, I'm all right. I just, just here you go, low, darling. Just low, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> This is mental. Sean, it's get not, Sarah to sing something crazy. inside so strong with you to calm your nerves. Oh, God. <sighs> I know. Do you get a dry mouth when you're getting interviewed? I know. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know. I really thought I'd be able to handle this. I mean, I did be brothers, but I'm all right. I can't really. I just need to pace. I've been mm. pacing all day. I've just been... I've been the same. Don't worry. I've just worry. been singing away. Well, do you know what it was <clears> when we were sitting... In the, in the like in the rooms, no TV, I know. no phone, I know. no Think music, of the singing nothing. I, know. I, was like... I, I keep, I keep, I keep going over in my head. My favourite, <laughs> something inside so strong. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> with me. Something inside so strong. You know what I mean? I know that I can <laughs> make it. <laughs> I don't know, I've just got to calm down and stop being a wimp. Really. No, but there you no, go. I've been exactly the same. I was like, I need more space to, like, I pace. I swear to God, I literally, I was like, I need more room to run around. No, so many inside, so wrong, more like. Uh, now, we have an East Ender. How about a West Ender? I've heard Chelsea's where the party's at. Party on. Hi, my name's Sam Thompson. I'm most famous for being on Made in Chelsea. It's the best job in the world, to be honest. You know, I work hard. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, the nights out are pretty intense. We do tend to go quite big. Party on. I just said party on. God, the party never stops. It does, it does stop. What's the worst thing about me? I say mate a lot. What's going on, mate? Oh, mate, please, mate, 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 shut up. Do you know what I mean? Just say, friend. <laughs> well, I kiss in the house. I'm, I'm not like one of those people who like goes right chastity belt. Wah, like you know, I've got to think about the brand. Like if a girl walks around with the tits out, I shall be looking. <laughs> not perving, just like just. Oh shit. Do I have a good body? I'm sure there'll be someone in there who's got like a way better body than me. They'll probably be like absolute beef. 
curds, and that is not the right word. <laughs> oh my god, what are they called? Beefcakes. <laughs> Should I exit now? I'm going to learn so much about myself in this house. It's frightening. Like, I'm going to find myself. God. It's Sam Thompson. Hello, nice. Sam. Hello. How are you? I'm really well. Uh, a kiss. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> um, you were lapping that up. Yeah, no, everyone's so amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can tell you're like a little puppy dog. Yeah, yeah. Look, this is an experience. It's like this is what memories are made of. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I think yeah. you're going to have some fantastic memories over the next few weeks. I can't wait, honestly. I'm super nervous, so I'm not going to lie. Why are you nervous? Well, because like, it's like going back to boarding school, isn't it? <laughs> I would imagine it's slightly different to boarding school. Yeah. Um, you said that you're hoping to find yourself in there. What, you, what do you think you might find? Uh, a, a more mature Sam, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> not like Let's that. have a fun Sam as well, yeah. though. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Absolutely. I'm like, I, I don't know what I'm going to see in there. I don't know who's going in either. So, like, imagine if everyone's, like, like amazingly good looking and like, I'm, like, they're just the run of the litter. Right. Would you like to find out? Yeah. In you go! Oh, God. <laughs> Sam describes himself as a mummy's boy. He says he's musically gifted and good at all sports. The most expensive item Sam's taken into the house is a £200 necklace. The thing Sam will miss the most is his games console. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm so scared! Yeah. Oh. oh my god, I'm in. How are you? Hello? I knew oh, you were Seth. coming How are you, mate? You okay? Yes! <laughs> oh, Good Sean! To see you. Good yeah. to see you, my man. I'm a bundle of oh, nerves. Pleasure. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Nice to meet you. My name's Sam, pleasure. Hi, Sam, you're all right. Oh, we are definitely reenacting <laughs> that Janine moment, mate. I'm oh, gonna be oh, yeah, no, we can do what? that. <laughs> I'm just, I've just let myself down. I'm so nervous, I know, and I've spilled the water. Oh, I want some water. Some water. Oh, some milk. I would love some water. I've got the biggest dry mouth ever. You, you, Ain't so yeah, I get it. You pour it. That's how bad oh, I was. I, I, I tipped it. <laughs> Dude, all I heard, I heard Barry. Oh, I know. Barry. 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 So we have a pop star, a reality star, and a soap star who's pretending to be a bag of nerves to bag a special prize from Big Brother. Will Sean succeed? Wow. If anyone can sense something strange in the Big Brother house, it's housemate number four, who's coming right after the break. Yeah. Welcome back to the live launch of Celebrity Big Brother. Before the break, Big Brother gave Sean Williamson a hidden earpiece and a bad case of opening night nerves. All he has to do is convince everyone that he's the most nervous housemate and he will have completed his mission. Sounds easy enough, right? Yeah. Mm, Big Brother's going to make things a whole lot harder for Sean very, very soon. Uh, but first, hold on. I can sense the presence of a new housemate. I'm getting, I'm getting a name. Begins, begins with a D and he's about to cross over from the other side of those doors. Hi, I'm Derek Akora, and I'm a psychic medium. To be on Most Haunted, it was an exciting thing to take part in, but the serious side of the investigations, they could be quite... Ooh. Sit down now! Hey, Sit down now! What was there has been released. I'm happy. Sam is my main spiritual guardian. Sam is definitely coming into the house. He can't wait either. He's told me. What he's going to get up to, I don't know. I feel there could be a presence within the Big Brother house. 
If there's activity in its essence, I will expose it. I would describe myself as being a sincere, spiritual-minded man, but a man who has fun running through his bones. If people seem to think that I'm going to be laid back, quiet, oh, they're in for a little bit of a shock. I'm going to surprise everyone, I hope, anyway. It's Derek Akora. Yes. Do you really? Yes. What, what, how, why? Well, because a lot of people have actually worked in these grounds over a long time, yeah. and the residual energy of their physical still stays here. So they could be with us, right? Every launch yeah. night, eviction night, finale night, they could be with us now. Absolutely. How about your spirit guide, Sam? He's here. He's here? What's he going to do to help you in the house, do you think? Can he help you in the house? Well, he can, but I think that that's going to be a little bit unfair because then I'll have an advantage. You have a secret partner in crime. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and talk me about this. Talk me through this fun that runs through your bones. Which runs through the fun that runs through your bones? Oh, We've yes. just heard you say in your VT, I've got fun running through yeah. my bones. Well, because what's going on at the moment, and for a long time, okay, I believe that inside us all, okay, if we Yay! think fun, yeah. Everything fun. Mary loves it. Absolutely. And if we think fun, we'll have fun. Yes. Are you ready to have some fun? Absolutely. In you go, Derek. Thank you. Thank you. Derek finds it difficult taking holidays as the spirits always find him. He signed for Liverpool Thank Football you. Club, age 15. He has two poodles, 30 koi cock. 26 chickens and a cockerel. Thanks. His idols are Johnny Depp and Mother Teresa. Sam, lovely to Hi, meet you. Pleasure. Lovely to meet you, Sam. Pleasure. Hi, darling. Oh, Sarah. yes. I've always wanted to meet oh. you, Sarah. Oh, Hi, Derek. Sean. Hi, Sarah. Nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you. There's some water there. Are we having some salt? Now, Derek Akora isn't the only celebrity in the house who's going to be here hearing voices. Yeah. Who's that? 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 Who's You must begin shaking with nerves. You must then make sure that Derek gives you a long hug. This will calm you down. My wife got me that. Oh, good man. You are a lot more. You must do this immediately. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I just feel like I'm in a dream right now. This is weird. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, it's weird. I can't stop pacing. Yeah, it's the coolest man in the house. Come on. Oh, God, I'm rub off on me. Look, I'm exactly the same as you all. You've been doing this ages. Yes. Oh, Do you want a glass of water? A glass of water. Sean, big brother needs like a longer hug. Do you like me to serve you? No. <laughs> Come on. I've got to serve everyone. I've served everyone. Served, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one that's not shaking. Here you go, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Cheers, uh, mate. 
I know, I've just been pacing the last oh, two yeah. days. Cheers, Big Brother bye. needs a longer hug. I can't believe I get it, and we're all on the wall. Cheers, guys, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Cheers Sean. Sean. Well Cheers. You'll be grand. I was just, I think, just, just once we're all here, get Ooh. it out of the way, we're all set. We'll give it a few oh, days. Yeah, yeah. It'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably we'll go a bit stir crazy in about a week. But Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, it's going to happen. Yeah. We're all going to work the experience together, aren't we? I love yeah. that. Good, you're yeah, amazing. No, yes. thing. You've got We're all going to be in this together. Just stay yeah. positive, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. a memory. We're yeah. making memories yeah. right now. Yeah. Not like yeah. this. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't done it yet. Is he going to do it? Can he do it? I think he can do it. Uh, so we've already got quite the celebrity mob in there. I wonder how the boys are going to react after we send in the Mafia's very own MILF. Hi, I'm Marissa Jade, and you might best know me for my role in Mob Wives. As a mob wife, your best bet is to keep your mouth shut. The Mafia is just a bunch of gangsters, and they're not to be messed with. There's a lot of fire in me, but when you make me see red, I will verbally assault you to the point where your mother's going to feel it. I think I'm flirty by nature. I've been told plenty of times that I am a MILF. I'm sure the men will love everything about me. Why do I want to be a housemate? For the friggin' money. I don't know if it sounds stuck up or obnoxious, but I really am just concerned with myself. I will win. It's Marissa Jade! for Celebrity Big Brother. I'm ready. Ready to take it all on? I am. Ready to win it? We heard you saying you're going victory. to win this. Where's the love? Love. Uh, Marissa, this is a typical Big Brother audience. I'm used to the booze, I guess. You, I was going to say, coming down there, you're like, Bleh. you took it really well. <laughs> I'm used to the hate. It's OK. Uh, um, we've just heard you say that you think the men in the house will love everything about you. What about the women? Are you a girl's girl? I am a girl's girl. I love girls. I think girls should... I think girls should love one another. Yes. It is a woman's world. It is a woman's so world. So you get in there it's and you... It's a man's world, too, though. It I is. don't discriminate. But you get in there and you do your thing. Yes. And you go. Thank you. Marissa has seven brothers and sisters. She once had a pet turtle called Michelangelo. Her favourite instrument is the piano. She's played softball and basketball all her life, and her biggest achievement is her nine-year-old son. Hi. You know Selena Gomez. Ooh. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? Good to see you. I was afraid I was overdressed. They all told me they're in dresses. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just, I'm a tomboy. Sorry. You look adorable. Marissa, I'm Sean. Very pleased to meet you. Nice Welcome. To meet Good you. to see you. Sam, nice to meet you. Hi. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Okay. So, our shiny new celebrity Big Brother house is filling up nicely. Five are in. Ten more still to come. Next up, a woman with a in body and a man who is perfect. That's what they think. Will you agree? Find out after the break. Yay! Welcome back to the live launch of Celebrity Big Brother. Right, so far, we've got a pop princess, a mob wife, a reality star, a psychic medium, and a gibber and wreck in the corner that looks a lot like Barry. 
Hi from EastEnders. Uh, Sean is wearing a hidden earpiece and has to convince the other housemates that he's the most nervous housemate ever. There will be much more of his nerve-wracking challenge coming up a bit later. But first, how about a big celebrity, babes? <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Sandy Vogel and you will know me from the show called Gogglebox. Big celebrity babes. Being famous, I am enjoying every single bit of it. I enjoy being in the limelight. Hey, <laughs> you get me babes. The National TV Awards. We didn't even think we was going to win, to be honest. We took off our shoes and sandals. And then when we heard Gogglebox, it was like, shoes on, get your bloody shoes back on. Mega bra. I don't do nothing, but I've got a banging body, and I love it. Uh-oh, I did say it. I'm natural. Some might think I'm just crazy. Some might think I laugh too much. Some might think I'm too loud. I don't care. In the house, I think I'd most probably become, like, the motherly role. But don't upset me, man. Oh. Yes, I'm going to be entertaining, because... I'm going to be me. Booyaka. It's Sandy Vogel. You know it. Does that put you in a, in a, in a, in a, bleh, an advantage in there? Well, kind of. But I'm just going to be myself. I'm smashing it for these guys. Um, how much of that banging body are we going to see? Oh, babes, you'll see a bit of the booty. Not too much. Not too much. I've got grandkids, babe. I know, but babes, we just saw a great shot of it I in know, your VT. That cool, no? Are Come you ready on. to go in? Yes, yes, yes do it. Go. Sandy's idols are herself and Whoopi Goldberg. She's never been unemployed and used to work in Harrods. Sandy's owned wine bars, pubs, and even an antique shop. to be a celebrity according to our next housemate you just need to be successful hard-working gorgeous confident and basically perfect 
It's time for Big Brother to get an eligible and not very modest bachelor in our pad. My name's Chad Johnson, and most people know me from The Bachelorette. It was really spur of the moment. I went to the audition, and it just happened to work out. I'd describe myself as successful, hardworking, gorgeous, confident, and basically perfect. On a scale from 0 to 10, I would rate myself as probably like 200. What's the best thing about me? Everything. I've got a body sculpted by the gods. I like beautiful girls who are fit and in shape. Although I can't have sex with all of you, I promise to keep trying. I'm only competitive in two things, money and women. So if winning this show means more girls or more money, then yeah, I want to win. I'm going to show up to the house and just be myself. If I think somebody sucks, I'm going to let them know they suck. If I happen to be the horrible bad guy, cool. Why do I care what anybody thinks? I'm just going to show up and do whatever I want to do. I am currently single, so whatever happens in the Big Brother house happens. Here I am. Boom. You're pregnant. Ladies, stand back from your tellies. You might get pregnant. It's Chad Johnson. Nice to meet you. Very good to meet you. How are you feeling about Big Brother? <sighs> Pretty good. I'm uh, not exactly sure what I'm doing here, but hopefully it's some fun. Have you ever seen it before? I watched, like, a couple clips online, so I, <laughs> I have an idea. So. What do you think it's going to be like? I mean, uh, hopefully I'm just going to make some British friends and have some fun and have a few drinks, maybe meet some cool people. Yeah? Um, we saw you say there that you don't mind being the bad guy. I mean, I don't mind it. I'm not going to try for it. So, right. so that's not what you do for telly. It just right. happens sometimes. Right. You know, I think, you know, sometimes you stand up for yourself and it doesn't always come off the best on TV. So hopefully I don't have to, yep. but I'm not going to, like, shy away from anything. OK. Are you ready to go and see how it goes? Yeah. yeah. Chad, everybody. In you go. This is the first time Chad has travelled outside of North America. He wants to own a private island before he's 32. He was once knighted by a prince, but cannot remember which one. Hey. And apparently he's never broken a bone in his body. Looking and beautiful. We've got a beautiful house here. Oh, oh, wow. How's everybody? Hey, hey nice Sandy. to meet you. Nice Sandy? Yeah, nice to meet you as well. Nice to meet you, darling. We do feel Yeah, continent. Nice to meet you. Hello, Chad. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Chad, good to see you, man. Yeah, good to meet you as well. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Marissa. Getting used to the whole kiss thing. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. just give you one, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 A bit early for that. Right. Right. <laughs> There's a little moment going on already between Chad and Sarah and Marissa. Was it me that just saw that? Just a little moment happening. Nothing. Uh, not only has that happened, but Chad has walked into the house and straight into Sean's secret mission. It's time to head back to Big Brother. <laughs> You should get Chad to rub your chin, as it's one of the things that calms you down on the outside world. I want to do a lot of yoga. I want to do a lot of yoga here, so maybe because I had an issue. L.A. I mean, I live from Oklahoma. Sean, get that chin rubbed. It's not bigger than this. Well, we've got the garden, we've got yeah. bedrooms. So, oh yeah, yeah, it's all right. You know, I'm just there for business, you know, mostly yeah. meetings and yeah. shit. But Come on, Sean. Yeah. We've been very calm. Yeah. I guess you guys are all calm and cool. What's that? We're just all, I was really nervous. You look, look very cool and calm, everybody. Oh, really? Full that chin, full oh, that wow. chin. Full attention in that chin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just don't want to be single that way. You just go that way, and I'm like, man. Now, yeah, I kept trying to get them to give me a drink before I walked out there, and they. Oh no, they, they, they want you to be a bit. 
Yeah. Straight when you walk out, I suppose. I suppose there's those stairs. Yeah. If you... What time do you, when did you, did you go into like, hiding yesterday or like the day before? Well, I've, I've been here since like the 28th. I don't know. Really? So I've been here for a, a few days. But... Yes, he got the chin in! He did it! Um, so the Celebrity Big Brother house is only half full of famous faces. Still plenty more to come. Straight after the break, we are sending in three housemates with only five eyebrows between them. You've got four minutes to work it out. We'll see you in a bit. Yay! Welcome back to the live launch of Celebrity Big Brother. Now, very soon, Big Brother's going to make Sean's secret mission a lot harder. If he wasn't a bag of nerves when he went in, he is going to be by the time the big man has finished with him. Uh, but first, we think all our celebrity housemates are great. But this one is absolutely fabulous. Hello, my name is Helen Ledra. I'm best known for being a stand-up comedian. and I've been in television shows like Absolutely Fabulous. In fact, I am the supply teacher of comedy. The variety of people I've worked with, Jennifer Saunders, Ben Elton, all the bastards who got their own series. We're not being filmed. Fuck. I wouldn't class myself as a celebrity. I suppose celeb just means somebody who smiles a lot and gets paid quite a lot of money. I would describe myself as obviously short and someone who likes a drink. And I do like to go out at least three times a week with vodka. I have a lot of fears about being incarcerated with strangers. I live in my head quite a lot of the time, so sometimes I can be a bit off. I don't, I'm told, have a filter. So I might end up losing it, and I really hope I don't. This opportunity, it's like sex. If it comes up, never say no. This may never come again. What's not to like? It's Helen Lederer. <laughs> Can see you, oh, Helen. The world. Oh, the, the, world is the world is watching right there. Oh, hi, the world. So, Helen, there are a few people in this series that I've mm. really wanted for a long time. Oh my God! In and what way? You, oh. as a, as a housemate, Helen. Okay, that's And fine. you're one of them. I'm overexcited. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jumping to conclusions. What has Whoa. finally convinced you to do it? Um, well, um, obviously the five million pounds that I'm going to put in my pocket. No, I just wanted to um, make new friends. It's an activity holiday, isn't it? It is an activity um, holiday, yeah. And, so and got... it's a lot of fun. There's no arguments. OK, just a smooth ride. Oh, smooth I said ride. ride. <laughs> and then I've got my glasses because I'm slightly nervous about the bed situation. So I thought if I put my glasses, I've got my Astro spray and my glasses, oh, to bags you single because it's sharing. You don't do oh. sharing? Well, it'd be a bit much, because I will be the oldest person, and they'll be calling me Nana. You don't know that! They will not be calling you Nana. They'll be calling you Fun Auntie Helen. Oh, my God! Especially, especially if this non-existent filter kicks in. OK, well, you know more than me. I've got my specs, um, and maybe that's a bad thing. Maybe I shouldn't see. And um, um, thanks, Nana, friends, and... Um, <laughs> And um, I'm no, I'm really excited. I'm terrified, but I'm, and it'll be. Uh, You'll be fine because you're amazing. And will I learn new skills? Definitely new skills. skills. How to deal with difficult people? Difficult I'd people. imagine sewing. Is sewing sewing is an absolute definite. Okay. Sewing. And maybe pottery. Oh, pottery. Oh God, yeah. and that could be quite sexual as well. I oh, it can be like ghosts, like yeah. this. Okay. Oh, yeah, you do, oh my did, God. Ghosts. Ella, Ella. Should we go? Do you, yeah. not, shall we not go in? Shall you go I in? I can't remember in the you way. Go. Up there. Up the left. Helen loves making cushions, and her idol is Ed Sheeran. Love you, she likes you. to write poems about food and birthdays. She's never worn pajamas, only nighties, and she has a double jointed right thumb. Yeah, yeah. 
have just painted it. You can smell that paint, can't you? This is Farrow and Ball. New. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Nice people. Hi, good to see you. Oh, my God. Sarah, hi. hi. Beautiful girl. Hi. And beautiful hi. Sean. It's like the end of the panto, taking the oh, bell, isn't it? I'm so... Yeah. Does everybody do this when they come down the stairs? Oh, like, no, I was second. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, have you been here all day? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. 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 Nice to meet you. Absolute pleasure. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. A nice, nice man. Um, nice to meet you. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> we're, we're the old That's people. Yes. And Sean, I love <laughs> her. Marissa, how do you do? <laughs> so nice to meet you. Likewise. Ooh, this is a cocktail party. <laughs> Lovely, <laughs> Sandy. Oh, my, oh, my God, I can <laughs> look at your so accent. Amazing. I love you, baby. Mm. So, so this is everyone? <laughs> no! <laughs> nice man, nice lady, nice. Everything's nice on the first night. And then it all changes. Uh, something that has changed. I now want to be known as the Emma. Pardon? No, not Mama Emma. The Emma Willis. Like the sun, the moon, the celebrity housemate number nine. My name is Karthik Nagesan. Friends and fans call me the Big K. I'm not Big K. I'm the Big K. Like the sun, the moon. I'm most famous for being on The Apprentice and for having the most famous monobro in the UK. Yes, I mean, I've discovered that my monobro has its own Twitter account, and at one point it even had more followers than me. I believe that if you're in it, then you should be in it to win it, and I'm gonna win Big Brother. I'm not the guy sitting in the corner, I'm the center of attention. Non-stop party animal, that's me. It's party mode on. I can sleep when I'm dead. Sometimes I come across as arrogant, but I'm being confident. I mean, come on, put me in an uncomfortable situation and see how I squirm, because that's not going to happen. I've seen everything there is in this world, so therefore there's nothing there that's going to surprise me. Hey, big brother, the big K is coming for you. It's Karthik Nagathan. Baby, there's nothing holding me. Let me milk Carpet. it. Why not? Why not? Lovely to meet you. <laughs> Lovely to meet you too. How are you doing? How are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing very well. It's amazing to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Emma, for having me. Can I touch it? Yeah, go on. You can. <laughs> it's so smooth. It is real. It is not Velcro. And it has no. its own Twitter account. That's amazing. Yeah, that is, that is very surprising, yes. I think it is time to show the nation the man behind the monobrow. You are more than the monobrow. <laughs> um, you do like being the centre of attention as well, don't you? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, how are you going to do that in there? Well, we'll because, you know, it's a little big brother, full yeah. of attention seekers normally. Yeah, I mean, uh, they have no idea what is coming up for them. Through when those doors open and I go in, I'm going to walk in. It's the big K. You know, I've got a big heart, a big personality, and today the big K meets the big brother. So can, make you, it happen. can you tell us, a little, little sneaky peek, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to be the centre of the attention, and I believe yeah. that... You know, whoever has the stronger reality wins. So I'm going to have the stronger reality in there. And I'm there to make happiness, you know, make new friends and meet new people. Would you like to start making happiness right now? I'd like to start making happiness. Then Thank in you, you very go. much. Take care. Lovely to okay. meet you. Thank you. Karthik has lived in five okay, different Thank continents. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. He once climbed an active volcano. He is part oh, of a Latin so nice. dance crew that performed at Glastonbury. Bye, take care. Here I go. Hey. Oh, yeah. 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 So, this is where the party is. Hello, sir. Karthik, how do you do? Nice to meet you too, Sean. How do you do? Hey, guys, how do you do? Hello, sir. Karthik, how do you do? Hello, ma'am. How are you? Hi, Sandy, how do you do? Oh, okay. I'm okay. How do you do? I'm Karthik, how do you do? I'm Grant. Nice to meet you. Hi, Sandy. 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 Hi,
I mean, I'm, I'm kind of an IT geek, so I was Googling the whole thing up, and so I know some of it. Big fan, big fan, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. I saw your videos as well. Yeah, you did around the house. Very good. Hi, Chad. Sorry, Karthik? Yes, Karthik. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Karthik. It's time to grow another one in though and something tells me the only thing this housewife is going to be hoovering up is the wine. I'm Brittany Glanville. I'm best known for saying fuck a lot and drinking a lot of fucking wine. You probably know that because of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Housewives is basically a lot of entitled bitches that had a lot of diamonds and nothing to say. My ex-husband's an actor, and he married a cunt, three music star, Leanne Rhymes, after they cheated together. And they're happy. <laughs> I cannot stand when people treat other people like shit because they think they're better than that person because somebody knows your fucking name because they can Google you. Go fuck off. There's usually a lot of attention-seeking fame whores in these kind of reality shows, so I'm guessing I may not enjoy that. I definitely have a horrible temper, and when someone's being a dick, I am going to make sure to call them out. So let's just be clear, I don't have a drinking problem, I have a drinking solution. Rosé all fucking day, and go fuck yourself. It's Brandy Glanville. Does Brandy look? Fabulous shoes. Um, so welcome to the UK, firstly. Oh, right. I'm super nervous. Oh, are you? Why? I don't know. I have no idea. Do you have any idea about Big Brother? Uh, just a bit. OK, we've, we've just seen a little bit about you. Right. And we've seen that you don't really like attention seekers. <laughs> uh, that's true. Welcome to the world of Big Brother. <laughs> Uh, that's why I'm here, because I'm a giant contradiction. How, how do you think you will deal with people like that in the house? I just, um, I have a very, like, I'm just going to call bullshit on bullshit. That's it. Um, and, and what I, uh, we've heard about this little temper of yours as well. Will we see it very often? Don't make it uh, I'm guessing yes, you'll see my temper. I can't hide it. Can we see, will we see another side as well? I hope so. You know, I am very, I, I can be soft and sweet and nurturing and... What the? Why the fuck do you think I wore this? Somebody just shouted, we can see your bum! And a lovely bottom it is as well. Oh, Are you ready to go in? Yes, I think so. In you go, Brandy. <laughs> Brandy did gymnastics for nine years. She owns a brand of Chardonnay. She's written two best-selling books. The most expensive thing Brandy's packed her are her five grand Tom Ford boots. She used to race cars in high school. I'm 
ready. Sarah, nice, nice to, to meet you. Okay, so it's time for Big Brother to give more secret instructions to Sean. Let's head over to the house. Sean, your nerves are now so high that you are overheating. You should get a bandage or a glass of water over your head immediately. Five more minutes, five more minutes. It's like a boy's bottle. Yeah, I Cheers. What are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, Sure, it's it's going to sound really odd. I'm, I'm, I'm really overheated. Can you tip some of that on my phone? Can we do a measure? Please. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Do you, are you, do you it's good. need something? No, no, I'm fine. I'm just overheating a bit. It is very warm in here. It's very warm. It's very warm. Thank you so much. You look fantastic. Okay, thank you. I can blow on you, but I have no, to wear okay. spray. It's all good. It's all good. Do you need something? 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 Do you I think, you know what, I'm being a bit of a crap. There's quite more people finding people coming. No idea. I think there are. better. Sean, you do still look a bit hot. Big Brother suggests that you get Brandy to pour a little bit more water on you. I'm just having a car. And like, the wait, the wait, the wait. And I'm back to the Yes. And I'm like, wait, I just took my hair and my eyelashes are going to get bent. Sean, you don't want to fail. Big Brother thinks you need to get wet. What do you think you want, Sean? Yeah, you're OK. I want one of those curries. I mean, I want one of those curries, my friend. Exactly. But I want... Sean, you're too dry. Big Brother is not happy. Oh, yes. Yeah. So get, getting to know you night tonight, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, so, what's happening? So, when I did research, because your name's when you... Oh, good. No, no, we were just talking about this. Sarah's, Sarah's going to be the cook. No, Sandy's cooking. Sean is being a very, very naughty boy and not listening to his brother. What's going to happen to him? We'll find out very soon. Also, coming up, a Cardiff playboy, a Yorkshire pop star, a La Canna Calla Canna Calafoyan internet sensation. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to the live launch of Celebrity Big Brother. So far, we have got 10 top celebrity housemates trying to work each other out and also trying to work out why Sean has come down with a severe case of first night nerves. Now, ah, oh. now what they don't know is Big Brother has given him a hidden earpiece and a secret mission. More instructions for Sean still to come. Hopefully, he will follow the next ones. Uh, but first, we might be in the UK, it might be Tuesday night, but what our next housemate loves more than anything else is an Ibiza weekender. I'm Jordan Davis, and you'll best know me for being a playboy, getting with a lot of girls on Ibiza weekender. Me and my ex, Megan McKenna, she fucked me off to come in this big brother house. I'm going to last a lot longer than she did, so unlucky. I am a lad's lad. If there is a single girl, I am going straight for her. Because if Jordan sees something, he's going to get it. Have you seen the shows I've been on? Bring it on. I'm not going in this house to play a safe. I've got one chance. So call me what you want, say what you want. I'm still going to do exactly what I want to do when I want to do it. But when drama pops up, I am going to thrive on it. And I'm going to be getting involved, even if it ain't my argument. The more you wind people up and the more you find out what agitates people, that's when you can play on it and you can really fuck with their heads. What annoys me is when people get evicted, they go, yeah, it's my time to go. Stop lying. Stop lying. You're pissed off. Just be honest. Yes, I do want to win and I will win. Put your money on me. Jordan D. It's Jordan Davis. Hello. How are you? 
dogs out here this evening. <laughs> oh, I'm so... And I think you are way up there. Oh, uh, listen, get me in that house right now. I am so excited. I want to have a party. Let's do this. Come on. Okay. <laughs> right, keep still one sec. Kips, can you keep still? Yeah, I can. Just for a second. I can try. Yeah? Because they want to see that pretty face. I know. Thank you. What are you most excited about? Uh, well, just hopefully 15 girls now and just me. Jordan, I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but that is not going to happen no. tonight. I'm so sorry. There are some men in there. But they're nice men. I think you'll get on with them. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. So we've just heard you say you like to do what you want to do when you want to do it. What about when Big Brother wants you to do something? Well, Big Brother's a boss, so I listen to Big Brother. So you'll yeah. play the game? I will play the game. I've got to behave myself. Oh, good. No, you haven't got to behave yourself, but it's nice if you play the yeah. game. I will do. I'll behave. So oh, you can be a cheeky chappy, but just have a lovely time. I will do. Thank you very much. And you, can... are, you are stunning. Oh, thank you very much. Can you last longer than Megan? <laughs> she lasted one week, I think, was it? Four. She came out four. Well, I'm going to be in the final. I'm going to win it. I am going to win it, Ally! Yeah! 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 Oh, yes! Let's see. Go in. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Jordan Sears, he has slept with 1,500 women. Oh, man. He used to play basketball for wheels. He's most proud of his five ear levels. And once Shit. got stung in the book. The most prized possession Jordan is taking into the house right is a there. picture of his dog. His yes, idol is his mum. Where's the pie then? Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Big fan, big fan. <laughs> oh, my God, no! It is me. It is me. <laughs> 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 Derek, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah. 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 And if he wants to meet girls, though, I think we should send another one in. And when it comes to party tricks, this internet star has got things licked. Hi, I'm Trisha Paytas, and I am an internet sensation with over one billion views. My videos are my life. I am an open book. I talk about sex, I talk about love, how to lick your own vagina, world's giant vibrator. There is definitely no subject off limits to me. It's very dangerous to know me or even talk to me because you will be talked about on my channel. <laughs> if I could describe myself in three words, it would be sexy, smart, and slutty. I love showing my body. I am very proud of it. I have gotten liposuction, fat transfer, implants, lips, Botox, fake hair. There's not one real part about my body and I love it. One of the things I'm like really known for is fast talking. I can do 832 words in 52 seconds. I just like to talk about everything. I'm like not educated like book wise, but I'm educated like, you know, street wise. People kind of get a little annoyed for it. It gives people a headache, but that's okay because I love giving people headaches because then they stop talking and I get all the room to talk to myself. I think I'm like great TV because I think I'm just like every emotion that everybody could have. Who knows what Trish will pop up. It's Trisha Paytas. And slutty. Yes. Which side will we see most of you? I think the smart side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> and um, over a billion views on YouTube. Yeah, I just hit a billion on my main channel. <laughs> what makes you so watchable? Um, I think I'm just like a real like bitch. I like cry, I eat, I like, you know, break down. <laughs> and um, and what about you you like to 
talk, don't you? You like to talk. I love talking. I talk fast, I talk a lot, and I say too much. <laughs> um, do you think you might have to tone it down a bit in there? Um, probably. So far, the British do not like me, so I feel like I need to tone it down a little bit. Hey, listen, listen. <laughs> this is just a couple of hundred Big Brother fans. Okay. But there are millions watching out there, so you just be yourself. Okay, cool. Ready to go in? You're so proud of you. Oh, so you. Here we go. Okay, thank you. Treasure wants it. 10,000 calories in one sitting. She has never cleaned in her life. She says she doesn't know the difference between England and Australia. And she's obsessed with men over 75. Okay, so nothing like the sight of a dozen celebrities checking out the size of each other's egos. Should we shake things up a little bit? Lock up your sons and your daughters. It's celebrity housemate number 13. Hi, I'm Gemma Lucy, and you will all know me for being a tattoo model and a reality star. I was known for being on TV for generally being outspoken, causing trouble, basically not giving a fuck. In the Big Brother house, I'm looking to have a sick time, meet some boys, meet some girls, cause some trouble. That's what I'm about. I'm definitely bisexual. I'm always looking for love, and I've already had sex on TV, so that's done. My worst trait is I can be jealous and angry, which I need to rein in. I've definitely not got too many boundaries when it comes to getting my kit off, simply because we were born naked. What is wrong with a naked body? Like, if I want to get changed or get in the shower naked, I'm not wearing my bikini to have a shower. Come on. But if, like, old men are going to start running around with their dicks out, I don't want to see that. Of course I'm going to be a fucking good housemate. I've got tits, teeth and tantrums. It's Gemma Lucy. so we can see you. Uh, when people walk out those doors, they're either super excited, yeah. super nervous, they look like a rabbit in headlights. How are you feeling? I'm all of those things that you've just said, but I'm so excited. I can't stop smiling. Oh, good. <laughs> and your fantastic reaction as well. Thank you. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Why? Why weren't you expecting it? Um, just because in the past I've been a bit volatile on te telly, but I'm going to switch it up this time. Switch it up? What do you mean? Yeah. Well, I have to see who's in there first, see if they piss me off or What not. do you think? <laughs> What do, you, what do you expect from the Big Brother house? Because we know that you don't hold back. Yeah. What do you think the experience is going to be like? I don't hold back, but I'm, I'm going to be opinionated and be tactful with my arguments and just keep it real. That's what I do, so... Hoping to find love? If it's in there, we'll see. Who we'll knows? See there. Uh, we heard you say that you are going to bring tits, teeth and tantrums. Yeah, well, it's all teeth right now because I can't stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Good to meet you. Are you ready to go in? Yes. Off you go. Yes. <laughs> Gemma's training to be a boxer and has her first professional fight next year. 
She's more scared of being eaten by a lion or a tiger. She was expelled from five schools. She owns her own dating app for people with tattoos. Or will it be a bad surprise, like a killer nomination? We'll see you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to the live launch of Celebrity Big Brother. They all look so well behaved, don't they? Like they're all turning over new leaves. Uh, let's hope our next housemate doesn't know the tone. She loves to swear, but she would never say the C word. But I'm not scared of it. Meet celebrity number 14. Hi, I'm Amelia Lilly, and I'm known for being a singer, a West End performer, and being on The X Factor. Oh, you bring me joy. You bring me joy. People don't realize that it was my song. That's your song? And I was like, yeah, they're like, that's a banger. <laughs> I'm not the brightest of people. When it was the whole American election, I asked my brother if Hillary Clinton owned Clinton cards. I'm just really daft. <laughs> I do love a good swear. Bastards. Shit. <laughs> but I'm not allowed to say this C word. No! I'm definitely a party animal. I'm a single girl, so, you know, I'm allowed to be. Am I looking for love in the house? <laughs> you know, there might be some hot guys. We'll see. Of course I'd love to win. Well, I didn't win the X Factor, so maybe I can win this. I'm joking. It's Amelia Lilly. I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> She's here, isn't she? Are you ready for it? I think so, yeah. I just want to have fun. You, she, well, you can have fun. Do you think you can win it? Third on the X Factor, right? I mean, it would be nice to win something. <laughs> um, but I just want to enjoy every single minute in there, so yeah. Good. Well, that's what it should be fun, I think. Um, now, to quote your own words, we've just heard you say you're not the brightest. <laughs> Firstly, yes, you are what you're talking about. Uh, but secondly, if you're not, how are you going to handle, like, the gameplay and stuff like that? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm a, yeah, wing it. <laughs> or don't play games, just have fun. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not there to play games. I'm just going in to be myself and just to have a laugh. And you've been on TV before. You have done so much theatre in the West End. Yes. Surely you're used to an audience. Yeah, well, you'd like to, you'd th hope so, wouldn't you? <laughs> but you're still nervous as hell when you come out of those I doors. I am, like, this has just been the most mental few days, but I'm just so grateful to be here, and I can't wait to get in there. Well, listen, enjoy it, and I hope you have a brilliant time. Thank it's time you. to go with Amelia used to be a figure skater. 
She has owned 28 guinea pigs and three chihuahuas. She is obsessed with films about sharks and once wet herself on the London Eye. Her idol is her dad. It's our 15th and final housemate. Hi, I'm Paul Danan, and I'm best known for playing Soul in Hollyoaks. So when I was in Hollyoaks, every day, they'd have the extras. Most days, I would go, hi, you all right? Do you want to come for some lunch? You know, I'd always have a good lunch break. Can you tell us what happened on your lunch breaks? No. No, man, I've answered your questions. You're going to use all of this, I know. You're going to use all these bits. <laughs> you fuckers. Back to the interview. Celebrity Love Island was over 10 years ago. That was where I had a fight, shagged on TV, and then got with royalty. But at the same time, I wouldn't change it for a thing. Well, my nickname was Dangerous Danan, because I'm dangerous. <laughs> I can be a bit of a loose cannon, a little bit crazy, a little bit wild. I am me, and I'll always have that kind of fiery side of me. I mean, I'm there to make good TV, let's just put it that way. Danan is back, baby. It's Paul Danan! Every time I'm around, it's a hat. Touchdown in the crowd gets hat. Straight gas for the whole day's hat. Right. Yeah, I'm wicked. Firstly, can I just admire what? your suit? Because I love it. I do, I love it. Thank you. Thank you very I much. I would love to be wearing it. Well, I'll thank my designer. <laughs> oh, he's got a designer. Um, right, firstly, we've just watched your VT. Yeah. And I want to know... What would you like? Because I missed it. <laughs> well, I want to know what happens when you go to lunch. When I go to lunch? Oh, I, I walk because <laughs> the way I eat. No! <laughs> Oh, what? When you were on Hollyoaks, yes. when you used to go to lunch with the extras... Oh, no, did they show that bit? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, it didn't show actually what used to happen. No, it wasn't at lunch, it was just when I was filming. They, they were just beautiful girls. On your lunch break? Oh, I'm not yeah. even, not even on the lunch break, it was just all, all through the day they were just nice girls oh, to talk yeah. to. Nice girls to talk to. OK, OK, no, just to talk to. Yeah, don't worry um, about that, that was years ago. That okay. was 15 years ago. So, so are you still dangerous to Nan? I'll always be dangerous to Nan. Why are you dangerous? Um, because I do things and I don't even realise I'm doing them and they end up becoming dangerous. Um, you mentioned also in your VT, Celebrity Love Island, which, as you said, was, like, over ten oh, years ago. Oh, we're allowed ago. to mention that great show. The, the old version, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Celebrity um, Love Island. <laughs> yes, yes, Celebrity Love um, Island in Fiji. But you've done... Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, um, but you've done lots of reality television, so surely um, you're, you're a dab hand. You can go in here and you can breeze it, right? 
Yeah, um, I don't know about pre-easy, but I mean, I, I just, I don't ever have a game plan. That's the truth. I'll just be me. And Do you think you have an advantage, of, though? Um, advantage? I don't really know. I just hopefully that people are just going to take to being, uh, to, to the liking, uh, to liking me. So yeah, because I'm, I'm a, I'm a likable guy. I hope. It's a nice, likable guy. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready to be watched? I'm ready to be watched. In yeah. You go. Yeah, let's do it. Paul's son is called De Niro Danan, after his favourite actor, Robert De Niro. He was once sacked from Pando for swearing whilst turning on the Christmas lights in Preston. He has a large collection of bongos and wanted to be a lawyer as a child. Paul can break dance. See you, Matrix! It's a nice house. And there it is, one big brother house packed with celebrities having a lovely old time. All except one, that is. Uh, are you ready for the last part of Sean's secret mission? Right, all he has to do is get his claws into a fellow housemate if he wants to win the task. It is make or break. Let's go up to the house. Sean, listen very carefully. You should choose one housemate that you would like to become your rock. This means that you must not leave their side. Sean, you should now choose your rock by telling your chosen housemate that they are your rock, explaining over and over why you need them so much. You should not leave their side. Sean, you should now choose your rock. You must not leave their side. I just needed to stop dancing for a second because it is going to a place where. <laughs> Sean, listen very carefully. You should choose one housemate that you would like to become your rock. This means that you must not leave their side. You should make your choice by telling them that they are your rock over and over. Once chosen, you must not leave their side. Sean, you must do this immediately. You must choose one housemate to be your rock. Yeah. You must do this now by telling them that they are your rock. Tell them what? That they are your rock. They are the only thing that calms you down. Okay. You must not leave their side, Sean. Do this now. <laughs> She's gonna be my she's gonna be my rock, you are. Right? Stay close, stay close. Yeah. I said to you when I walked in, I got your back. Baby. Yeah, cheers, baby. I was telling me. Sean, my goodness, I can't breathe waiting for you to do these little tasks. <gasps> OK, but he could hear now, so wonderful. Uh, OK, so, you know how celebs love a party? Yeah. yeah. Well, can Sean keep hold of Sandy when the door's open to reveal a champagne-filled booze-up in the Big Brother garden? Yeah. Find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to the live launch of Celebrity Big Brother. This year, our celebrities are playing for £50,000. Now, that's not to splash out on themselves, but to donate to a charity of their choice. Now, it's a lot of dosh, which means it's all to play for straight away. 
Uh, in tonight's secret task, Sean has chosen Sandy as his rock to help him through his first night nerves. Question is, can he keep her inside even when the doors open to reveal a boozy celebrity bash in the garden? It's time to find out. Let's head over to, hand over to Big Brother. <laughs> Welcome to Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> you are all now housemates and have taken the first step towards a prize of £50,000 for charity. Woo! <laughs> housemates, to celebrate your first night, Big Brother has organised a very special lunch night party in the garden. Housemates, enjoy your first night. Let's go! Hang on one shot, hang on one shot. Just one shot, just, just hang on there one shot. Trust me. Just wait, 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 wait. I'm sure that light might turn green. Now do it. Now do it. Isn't it praying mantis? No, it's not a praying or a praying. A praying mantis. I'll, 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 let's bring him outside. I'll, I'll, don't leave him in there. I don't kill him. Stay him. inside, Sean. Sure. Let's bring him outside. I'll bring him out in a minute. Let's bring him out, babes. Just, just one second. Bring him out, bring him back. Yeah, bring him out, babes. Bring let bring me tuck him in. Let me tuck him in. Keep Sandy inside, Sean. It is. It's always a cricket. Me, You'll be fine. Brandy, go and have a party. Oh, he's on you. Hold him. Hold him, babes. Take him. Take him out. Hang on a second. Hang on one sec. Okay. Yeah. This one, breathe, breathe. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just breathe, breathe for a bit. Just breathe for a bit. Just hang on one sec. Seriously, just, it's okay. just hang on one sec. Right, okay. There'll be plenty of booze. Just breathe for a bit. Yeah, no, we're on the way. We're on the way. Are you yeah, we're fine. Thank okay. you. It's okay. Just breathe, perhaps. No worries. It's, it's all there. I know, it's just so weird, isn't it? You mm. think you can sort of uh, handle these things and you have these panic attacks. You'll be okay, babes. It's okay. No worries. You're all right. It's okay. Okay, so Sean stormed it in the beginning. Then he lost it a little bit in the middle. Looks like he's pulling it back. Oh, yes. Now, what Sean doesn't know is that he's playing for the prize of immunity. There is also a killer nomination at stake as well. Tune in tomorrow at 9 p.m. to find out how he gets on and who went straight up to face eviction. Uh, Rylan is back right after this with Bit on the Side, and that's followed by Live from the House at 5 past midnight. As ever, head to the website for all your celebrity Big Brother news and make sure to give us a little follow on Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter. We'll be back here next Tuesday for the first eviction of the series. But for now, let's go back to Sean. See, see if he's managed to hand, hang on to his rock, Sandy. Thank you so much for watching, and good night. Oh, you're a top, top girl. You're a bit embarrassing man of my no, age. No, it's not. It is. It's a bit. Look, it's a different kind of atmosphere. I know, it's a weird. I mean, I've been on stage about 35 yeah. times, and... Uh, but things have, you know, you, you think we can handle things and we come in and it's a completely different of what we think and, you know, but everybody's, yeah. every, everybody's cool, everybody's chilled. Yeah. Just, just take your time, babe. Just don't rush into nothing that you don't feel comfortable in doing. Cheers. No, I, okay? I, knew, I knew you'd be good. Thank That's you. fine, Baba. That's fine. I'm here. When I walked in, so, I said, so, I've got your back. So what do you think about okay. the decor? I love it. This is, this, 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 just pretend so, this is my house and you've come to visit. Instagram area. It looks like fucking live Instagram, doesn't it? This is so yeah. white. I'm what? Where they're like, everything that they have is white. You think you could fucking just. Oh, shit. Okay.
and you, know, you know the diary rooms whatever. up there this time, don't yeah. you? Yeah, on the left. Yeah, it's that one there, isn't it? On the left. I don't know what that... They used to have a little uh, room where there were, like, um, cushions and throws and, you know, mm. where you could chill out We could just chill out. Yeah. And then I think this year, I think... This... Ah. Um, she's, she's in there, Sarah's in there, babe. Sarah's in there, babe. I think Sandy's just okay. going in to fix her.